So the number 23, we have a 2 in the tens place. So that 2 literally represents two tens, and we see it right over here. We have two groups of 10 blocks. This is a 10, and this is a 10. So this 2 literally represents two tens, one 10 and two tens. Now this 3 is in the ones place, and it represents three ones. We see them right over here. One, two, three blocks. And of course, if you had three ones together with two tens, these two tens represent 20, and these three ones represent three, so you get 23. So let's write that down. So we could write down that 23, 23 is equal to two tens, two tens, plus three ones, plus three, three ones. Now what would happen if I added 20 to 23? Let me do that. So let's say, actually let me do something more interesting. Let's say we take 23, 23, and to that we add 30. So let's add, let's add 30. Three, zero, three, zero. So what is this going to be? Well, I start with 23, which I have represented here, and I'm going to add 30. 30 has 3 in the tens place, so it literally means I'm going to add 3 tens, and I'm going to add 0 ones. So let me add those 3 tens. So that's 1 10. This is 2 tens. And then that is 3 tens. So I've added 1, 2, and three tens here. So now, now, how many tens do I have? Well, I now have one, two, three, four, five tens. And notice, two tens plus three tens is equal to five tens. So now I have five tens. And how many ones do I have? Well, I still have those three ones, and you could think of it this way. Three ones plus zero ones is still going to be three ones. Three ones. So what's 23? What's 23 plus 30 going to be? Let me rewrite it. 23 plus 30 plus 30 is going to be equal to, well, five tens. We could just write that as a five in the tens place, represents five tens or 50, and then we're gonna have three ones. Whoops, let me do that in a different, in the ones color, in that orange color, is the, and three ones. So 23 plus 30 is 53. You have two tens plus three tens give you five tens. Three ones plus zero ones is equal to three ones.